Now, this motor would actually be an absolute superb motor for a seven inch, long range, high efficiency FPV quadcopter. Because it did absolutely spectacular, even on the Dalprop uh, 7056. So it's seven inches and it's 56 pitch. That's that's a pretty steep pitch. And not only that, tri blades, not even two blades, tri blades. So imagine if we were using two blades, it would be even more efficient. So let's take a look at the results here. Now, if you don't know how this graph works, let's actually make sense of this real quick. So up top here is the name of the propeller and the battery size it was put in. So here we had a 4S Dalprop uh, 7056C. This is a seven inch propeller that's a tri-blade. And here we had the same propeller, but we were running a 5S voltage. And then here we are having different propeller, which is a 5043 6S voltage. And you get the idea here. And here we have the thrust and the way these numbers work here is this would be considered 25% throttle. This is considered 50% throttle. This is 75 and this is 100% throttle. So you can kind of get an idea of how everything is working. And obviously thrust is thrust. It's by grams. The load is the amp draw. The volts is what the voltage was at at that current moment in time the watt hours, and here's the efficiency ground force per watt. This gives us a good idea of how efficient it would be in real life. Not the perfect idea, but a good idea. The 4S was the most efficient, and how efficient you might say? Well, we were getting 1.4, actually we were getting, yeah, 1.4 kilograms of thrust. So 1,400 grams of thrust for 26 amps. That's crazy. That is crazy because a 2207 or any of those other motors at 1.4 kilograms, you you push in around 50 amps, 40 amps, 30 amps. So this is pretty crazy. But don't forget, this is a seven inch propeller. So keep that in mind also. This would have to be a seven inch quadcopter and they behave slightly differently. But the idea of this motor, and again, is supposed to be for a long range, high efficiency setup more than anything. So on a 4S, it looks really, really nice. So for example, this is what I would do. Uh, if I, obviously most of us still have our 4S LiPos there. You could stick two of them together. That's 3000 milliamps. And that should roughly get you like 15 minutes of flight time on this thing. Uh, theoretically, obviously, no, don't take any of these numbers. I'm just making them up, pulling them out of my butt right now. Um, and here what we have is the 5S Dalprop 7056. Two, two, two kilograms, two kilograms, that's insane. This is, I think, where in reality would be the most efficient here because most of the time, where are you flying? Between 40 and 70% throttle. That's if you're cruising, not doing tricks and stuff. And here it seems to be slightly more efficient because at 50% throttle, we're getting 600 grams of thrust. And um, that's pretty good because here at 50% throttle on a 4S, we were, going, we were only getting 400. So I think this would be a bit more logical and a bit more efficient in reality, but it's very hard to tell right now. You'd have to calculate and actually go try this out in the field. So I actually do have five S's, four S's, and that is a plan on a iFlight seven inch setup, what I'm planning on doing. Now I've also tested them on six S, battery voltage, not six inch propellers, because I don't have any. The ones that I have just disintegrate, so I don't use six inch propellers. Uh, so I tested on the 5043, 5046, 5047, 5145, and the Nazgul 5140. All these tests were done on 6S voltage. And you can see that it's pretty damn good. You could run this pretty good on a 6S setup, because look at the maximum amp draw. It's not even, above 25 well slightly above 25 here but that's just insane like for me personally where would i fly this actually i would go between the 5145 and the 5047 c's on this motor on a 6s and i think it would be pretty cool i'm actually gonna try that i will be trying that because 1.4 kilograms on a 5 inch propeller 5.1 inch propeller 26 amps that's crazy that's really really good like really good. I mean, so let me put this into perspective how good this is. Some of the top premium spec motors that are even smaller than this are actually pulling much more current for even less thrust on some of these tests here, which is pretty insane. So this motor is actually pretty good. But then again, these are just numbers right now that will have been tested numbers. In real life, it's going to be different, but it should do just well, actually. I think it's going to do pretty good. Um, I will be comparing it with other motors later on. I'll pick up some more. And um, 
you don't know, maybe we might find a really nice, super efficient, even just a five inch setup. Overall, looks like a good motor. Didn't heat up, 5S, Dalprop 7056 tri-blades, absolutely cool. And you can tell that by the current draw, which is, which is really great, like really insanely great. That's just awesome. And well, I'm gonna leave it at that guys. Everything's linked down below. If you can check those out, it's greatly support the channel. And I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.